Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. Happy new moon in Pisces. Happy lunar eclipse in Pisces. This is going to be for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node in Virgo. Okay, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node in Virgo. I don't know why I wanted to say Pisces, okay? <sighs> Pisces wanted to come out. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces or a Pisces could be of significance. Um, so Virgo, this is going to be um, a reading to see what's going on with you for this upcoming week in September. Again, let's go ahead and tap into your energy field and see what you need to know. But first off, Spirit was telling me that some of you need to breathe right now. There's a lot going on and I'm, I'm being told emotionally you need to try to breathe through it, okay? There's a lot going on. For some of you, a soul contract could be coming to an end, all right? This could be a contract that could be blocking your heart chakra or your heart chakra could be blocked and it's causing a contract to end, Um there could have been some imbalances here. I'm seeing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces doesn't have to be. But you are deciding to detach from somebody. Somebody that was manipulative. Somebody that played with your emotions. Somebody that liked to gaslight you. Okay, You're deciding to let go of these people. These people that were nasty, abusive, and decided to basically just treat you any kind of way so they could get attention. Okay, People who had abandonment wounds. And they use sex to heal it. You're deciding to detach from people like that. Codependent, clingy, obsessive people that even may have tried to spiritually attack, uh, attack some of you. So let's see what's going on uh, for you this upcoming week, Virgo. Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. You're, you're definitely letting go of something at this time. But let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to go ahead and pull these cards. And then we will clarify. What else for Virgo? Okay. What else for Virgo spirit? Okay, what else for Virgo? Ooh. All right, we have the Knight of Wands for Virgo. We have the Ten of Pentacles for Virgo. All right, perfect. With the bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles. Okay, the universe is supporting you right now with something, Virgo. It's about to bring some balance and harmony. You could be getting money or some sort of support at this time. Um, or somebody could be trying to support you or you could be supporting someone else. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting... Somebody could be eating pasta for dinner. Okay. There also could be a Taurus involved or a Libra. But anyway, Virgo, you are deciding to, you're, you're, you're protected. You're deciding to stand in your truth. You've went through a major transformation when it comes to love. And I'm saying you're deciding to let something go. Okay. You're deciding to not work together with someone. You're deciding to not support someone anymore. I'm also seeing here, you're letting go of something. Okay. Some of you could be spending too much money at this time. And spirit is saying for you to budget. Some of you may need to save more money than spend. You could have also lost your job. But Spirit is saying that you need to definitely work on saving your money. There, There is a need to save money very importantly right now, okay? With the Queen of Cups, you're somebody very caring, very sweet. You're very just sensitive, very psychic. You're a very honest person. You're deciding to pour into yourself. So some of you are being called to love yourself and pour into yourself right now. With the nine of wands, whatever you're letting go, for some of you, you could be letting go of a knight of cups. This could be a cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, somebody that did not want to change, okay? This person was manipulative. They were emotionally abusive. Somebody like the gas like you. Like I said, they play with your emotions. They just to get what they wanted. This is somebody that was very skilled at this, okay? This person loved attention. They could like to live on the edge, okay? Somebody could like to live dangerously. But somebody could like cars or bikes a lot. But this is a fire sign. Somebody that was very into getting attention of others. For some of you, this is someone in your family or someone you share children with. But this person will not learn their lesson. Like this person is not willing to learn from their mistakes. And this is why you are finally letting this go. Okay. I'm saying that 
you've been stressed out over this for too long. You've been carrying this burden for too long. Spirit is saying it's finally support coming in, okay? Some of you are being supported financially, but right at this time, you're going to need to save, but there is support coming in from the universe, okay? If you are struggling and you could be like trying to find a place to live and Spirit is saying that it's about to be over, okay? Things are about to be changed for you. You're getting new beginnings, okay? A lot of new beginnings coming out that you're deciding not to work on something that wasn't good for you. Yeah, you're trusting your intuition. And for some of you, there could be a crush coming into your life. There could be somebody that has a crush on you, but this person could be a little immature. Yeah, you're getting new beginnings. Some of you are getting new homes, um, a new job, or you could be getting new money coming in from somewhere, um, new relationship. This is a period of new in your life. Now that a soul contract is finally ending. So let's go ahead and clarify some of this. Yeah, now with the eight of wands, you guys are making moves, okay? You're making moves fast. I'm hearing things about to start happening fast for you. Now that you're taking action, you've been tired for too long, okay? You've been tired. Spirit is finally about to change things around for you, Virgo. So let's see, what's the three of pentacles in reverse? I'm sorry if I'm a little nasally. I feel like my sinuses are acting up today, so just forgive me, Virgo. Yeah, somebody was keeping secrets and creating illusions. This person was being very deceptive, okay? Pisces, Cancer, energy strong. This is why you're choosing not to give to something anymore, why you're deciding not to work on something. Why the Knight of Swords, Spirit? Yeah, you're deciding after some truth to focus on yourself. To invest into yourself okay for some of you you were very generous to this person and this person was given to everybody else and they were being deceptive this person was given to other people in the community and being generous and i'm saying now you see the truth about something you have the truth by the four of pentacles this is why you're releasing this person by the four of pentacles yeah justice in reverse this person was dishonest and they could be going to spiritual court they could be losing and their money is being affected big time because of how they uh, did you virgo uh, libra energy i'm also seeing somebody is getting bad news this immature person okay whoever tried to create illusions they're getting bad news right now yep why the nine of wands Ooh, too many spirit. Why the nine of wands? Too many. With the nine of wands, I'm seeing that somebody is very stagnant at this time, okay? They can't move forward. They may have attempted to try to move towards you, but they can't. They're stuck. This knight of wands, okay? What's the knight of wands? Yeah, spirit is saying that you are meant to be a leader. You're meant to be a visionary. And it's time for you to focus on yourself. Focus on your self-sufficiency. Okay, because you have a lot of wealth coming your way, a lot of good luck, a lot of accomplishments coming. You have a lot of things coming, a lot of emotional fulfillment. So Spirit wants you to focus on that. Somebody could have, there could have been a Knight of Pentacles, somebody that was scared, a deadbeat. This person did not learn a lesson that they were supposed to learn. I'm getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is Judgment. What is judgment in reverse? Yeah, so you decided to block this person and let this person go. Okay, you're walking away from this person because you knew that this person was trying to create like a scandal. And now somebody could be even been kicked out and they could be homeless, facing hardships, suffering with sicknesses because of this scandal. Yeah. But you were given to this person. You helped this person. Because you're a loving, caring individual. You're somebody very self, selfless. You're very sweet, okay? And this is what this person did. They created some sort of fantasy and illusion to trick you, to manipulate you, to alter your decisions, okay? They wanted to alter your decisions, so they created a bunch of illusions to keep you stuck in a fantasy. This person wanted you to be like miss out on other opportunities, 
So they could, yeah, so they could get you attached to them and addicted. Yeah, this Knight of Cups has too much going on. They have addictions. They have codependency issues. They're stuck in their ego. They play too much. Okay, somebody is definitely stuck in this devil energy. They're not changing anytime soon. They, yeah, look, they refuse to learn. They refuse to learn. What's the Ten of Pentacles? They refuse to learn. Whoever this energy is, this person is not learning anything. Libra energy. This is somebody that you could have a family with. Okay, somebody that's very manipulative, very rude, very overcritical. Why the Eight of Swords? You're freeing yourself from them. And this person with the Eight of Swords, they got regret. They're not letting you go. Even though you freed yourself from them, they're not letting you go. They're stuck on you. But they're also not willing to learn from their mistakes. This is why this person is having all this bad luck with their finances. They're insecure. A lot of self-doubt. Yeah, they have a lot of insecurity now that you've let them go. Yeah, you caught this person red or you caught this person red-handed, okay? And this is why I fear all the pain that you had to endure with this person. Because you made a change, this changed your destiny, okay? This is why spirit is bringing you a lot of luck into your life because you made this big change, which was hard to make. You did it. You trusted your intuition. What's the page of cups? Some of you have healed from a childhood womb as well. Yeah, because these secrets came out and you trust your intuition about them and decided to abandon this situation and walk away from this betrayal. Somebody that wanted to make you compete for their love, you decided to let it go. You healed. And this is what's this is this is why this contract was meant to end. You're you're no longer attached to this toxic energy. You healed the wound that got you here. Okay, so this is a major, a major good time, a major moment in your healing journey because you did decide to heal this wound. Let me see if I can get my bell. I gotta ring my bell for y'all. You heal from you heal from something very powerful, Virgo. Something very Okay, and I just wanted to ring that because you guys deserve it. You've naturally evolved from this connection. What is this? What else for Virgo? Okay, so we have marriage. For some of you, this is a marriage. Okay, physical connection. The, the sacred union of bodies, two becoming one. You could have a divine marriage coming into your life now that you've healed from something else. What is marriage? Okay, so somebody wasn't being authentic, Virgo. This person did not want to heal. They didn't want to change. And now they're experiencing a tower moment because you could be divorcing this person. This person could only act like they want sex, okay? This person loves your energy. This person loves your sexual energy. What are they, like a vampire? But this person wasn't being themselves. And now they're... This person's lost their way and they're going through tower moments because they're a non-traditional life, because they won't listen to the divine. Yeah, this person doesn't have any self-awareness. So spirit is trying to get you to move away from this person or stay away from this person. Somebody needs to heal at this time. Somebody could also be sick. This person could feel like they lost their faith. Now that they see that you're okay, you're happy without them, you're triumphing, okay? You're celebrating. Now they're obsessed with you. Now they're being immature that you're moving forward. All right. So this is this is strong narcissistic energy coming up here. I don't even need to keep going to sense what kind of energy this is. Somebody, somebody likes to have sex with people to take their like strength okay this person likes people to be stuck in fear but they don't plan to stick around yeah this isn't somebody that sticks around though they're a manipulator heartbreaker all right what's the advice for virgo spirit what's the advice for virgo so spirit is saying to to heal from this okay 
heal from this deceit at this time because this person was very deceitful aquarius energy and spirit is telling you to heal from this what else for virgo yeah this person could have kept you stuck worry in your head constantly worry but spirit is telling you that the sun is about to shine okay you need to give yourself permission to experience joy there's a lot of joy coming into your life leo energy all right so let's go ahead and just get a card for your finances virgo definitely this week just try to focus on healing from this heartbreak trying to get a new beginning for yourself and just start over because there is wish fulfillment coming but it's time for you to focus on yourself all right, so new opportunities coming now that the soul contract is ending. Yeah, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. Look at this. Don't you see how your passion makes you glow? Some of you could be going towards a new passion at the beginning, whether in love, in a new city, a new place, uh, a new hobby, whatever it is that you're going towards, this is going to be something really good for you. So focus on this new beginning, on this new thing coming. Some of you could be waking up at 3 a.m. around that time. Could be seeing three, three, three. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Can I get a card for Virgo, uh, for Virgo's finances? Why does Virgo need to budget? Yeah, so you guys are definitely having issues with your finances. There's a lot you're juggling, okay? Like I said, some of you could have lost a job. You could be overwhelmed. Spirit is asking you to get organized at this time. You need to get organized. There's a lack of balance in your life. So... Yeah, you might want something, but Spirit is telling you to save at this time. Budget your money. Some of you are being called to take action towards your dreams. Go after what you want, but it starts with coming up with a plan. Like, you're being called to start planning. All right? So, what else? What is going on with Virgo's health this week, Spirit? What's going on with Virgo's health? Health-wise. Okay, so we have the four swords in reverse. You guys could be very exhausted, very burnt out. Um, very stressed out so spirit is telling you to take some time and rest to, to to let go of some of these worries with the four of swords you really need to try to uh take some time to just focus on yourself at this time virgo okay focus on healing focus on letting go some of you may need to forgive someone for something for breaking your heart some of you could be going through a phase where you're healing trauma this is what spirit wants you to focus on at this time all right, so let's see what's going on with Virgo for new love. Is there new love coming into Virgo's life? New love? Yes, Virgo. Okay, you're being seen in the spotlight right now. Don't let those insecurities stop you. You have a victory. You have success. You're being celebrated. Some of you could be seen in a public platform or you could work in the public or you could have something going on where you're seen in the spotlight, like people are noticing you. They could be noticing that you look good. They could be noticing that fresh haircut or that new hairdo, those new clothes, okay? Somebody could be noticing your new car, but there are people definitely noticing you this week. People finding you very sexy this upcoming week, okay? Spirit is saying, don't focus on your weaknesses. Don't have any self-doubt. Don't focus on um, being insecure. Try to get out of this these emotions okay because you do have the wheel of fortune you do have you do have a lot of positivity a lot of good luck coming in your life so this is what spirit wants you to focus on this time okay all the success all the positivity all the completion everything that's coming for you with this new beginning coming into your life this is what spirit wants you to focus on definitely trusting your intuition all right so i did want to ask one more question i want to know who this person is that has a crush on you Let's go ahead and ask who this person is who has a crush on you. And it better not be this past person. Who has a crush on Virgo spirit? Aquarius energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. So the person that has a crush on you, this person could be the past person. Okay. They could be very insecure, feeling like they're losing faith, stuck in their head. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius having nightmares, insomnia, anxiety right now, crying over you. Somebody's being haunted, but this person does have a crush on you. They see you as a part of their future, okay? They can't stop thinking about you. So, and you freed yourself from this person, though. You've released this person. Like I said, for some of you, this is someone you had a family with that you've released. All right, Virgo. So, keep focusing on you. It looks like when it comes to new love... It's going to be a self-week where you're just focused on self and healing. 
And this is what spirit wants you to focus on so you can move forward. All right. So I do hope you guys have a great rest of your week and take care Virgo and I will talk to you later. Bye.